Okay, so let's check out question eight. Classify each of the following as an electrophile or a nucleophile. Let's write down these definitions. So for electrophile, this literally means electron loving. And electrophiles have the following attributes. They are they are electron pair acceptors. They also have empty orbitals. And then just make like a table. And put nucleophiles on this side. So nucleophile means like nucleus loving. So basically these are electron pair donors. And they also have non-bonding electrons. Typically. Okay, so now that we know the definition for these, let's sort out which ones are nucleophiles and which ones are the electrophiles. So for NH3, can see that there is a lone pair on the nitrogen. So therefore, this is a nucleophile. And then let's look at OH minus. So because it has a negative charge plus a lone pair, it is also a nucleophile. And finally, let H2O is also a nucleophile as well. H3O plus um, has a positive charge. So let's write it out. So therefore, it is an electrophile. And then I'm just going to draw out this methyl bromine. If you break this bond right here, then the carbon will carry a positive charge. So that's why this is also an electrophile. So typically bromine, chlorine, like they're all good leaving groups. So after the bromine leaves, then that's why that carbon will have a positive charge, making it an electrophile. Let's see the answer from our junior tutor. Electrophiles, H3O+, and then the CH3Br. Nucleophiles, NH3, OH minus, H2O. Explanation. Compounds having positive charge are called electrophiles, yeah? Compounds having lone pair of electrons and negative charge are called nucleophiles. So I'm just going to also add um, some of my definitions as well, just in case there aren't lone pairs involved, just in case there aren't any charges involved. I'm also going to put that... Electrophiles are also electron pair acceptors. And they can have empty orbitals as well.
Then I'm going to add that nuclear files. Our electron pair donors. And they can also have non bonding electrons. Okay, but this solution is still correct.